Jesus, when hunting up in North Texas, got set up and saw these two hogs coming over the hill. They headed into the woods. I thought they were going down to a winter wheat field that's been planted, so I headed down to the field to wait for them to come out of the woods. And they came out where they went in and headed off in the opposite direction. And I've sped up the video here as I'm out of position down in the field as they're moving away from me. Fortunately, I've got the hill behind them. I'm going to get set up on the ground, actually seated at this point, and the hogs stop. So I'm going to get steadied up on the first hog here. He goes down. And I finally find the range on the last shot before the hog moves off property. And I give the first hog a quality assurance shot that turns out to be unnecessary. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery The downed hog turned out to be a 170 pound boar that was initially brought down by a headshot that entered actually through the jaw right here. If you recall, the head was down. Here's a close-up of that. So you notice there's blood coming out of the ear. This is caused by an intracranial overpressure of the bullet passing through, which also resulted in a partial evulsion of the eye. The bullet's path through the skull actually had it terminating right here. There was a lump underneath the skin, but when I peeled the skin back, all I found was broken bone and no remains of the bullet despite probing the wound. As I was dumping off that hog in the boneyard, spied this hog way out in the distance in the south pasture. And at this point, I'm about halfway through my stalk. Now here I've moved up to about as close as I'm going to get on this hog. And that's because I've got my legs tangled up in a briar patch. And I'm trying to pull out and it, all it's doing is making noise. So I'm stuck right here. And I'm just going to wait to see what develops. So as you can see I've sped up the video again. Waiting for the hog to do its thing. He's going to move off to the right, which turns out to be good, except if he moves too far, he's going to end up being directly downwind of me. As he gets in front of the tree, down he goes with a shot right behind the head. I watch him make sure that he doesn't get up, and he appears to be down for the count. This hog turned out to be a 175 pound boar. The shot entered right here, and then at least part of the bullet exited out the other side right here. From here I moved on to check other properties, and I spied this hog way out in the valley of this field. And the wind is blowing towards me as I make my stalk towards the hog, and he cuts back and actually heads in my direction, and I drop him right here. He lands upright, and I wait to see if I need to deliver a second shot. And eventually, he slowly rolls over. There he goes. He turned out to be a whopping 250-pound boar. With the bullet entering just below the eye and the ear here. And again, you see the intracranial overpressure with the blood that's come out of the ear. He also had a nice set of cutters on him. Now, while I was taking a picture of this hog, I saw hogs up on the hilltop, about 350 yards away. And here I've made my stalk and gotten almost as close as I can get at this point. The last 50 yards have been extremely slow. Most of the hogs are actually over this little rise, and I can't get eyes on them. So I'm stuck here on the hillside. And I've had my eye on this sow right here. It's the largest hog in view. And that hog right there is the one keeping me from getting any further up the hill. But she heads in my direction. And I take her right here using trees as a backstop. I pick up this shoat right here. The next shoat. That one's down. Then I pick up the runners. 
and unfortunately where they are right now there are one or more houses off in that direction and I can't see where they are from here so as one of the shots comes down the hillside slowly I pick it up and of course the rest take off running over the hill So from this group, I ended up shooting four hogs, recovering three, including a 165-pound sow, and then two smaller shoats. No doubt with a sounder that big, I will be seeing them again. Carpe sus, my friends.